Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We're here for the first time recording Shards of Infinity. Now to be fair, I normally play this game on the app. Uh, same reason I do for One Deck Dungeon. But I love the solo version of Shards of Infinity that's found in Relics. And it is just really, really good. One of the interesting things I do have is... This is the box. The box does not hold everything. It is I made my own box. And it has everything in it. Everything fits nicely. And I redid all the printing. That was just a kid's game box. So here we go. Let's play Shards of Infinity. <laughs> So I am keeping score over here. We have green versus blue, Tetra versus Volus, 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 I don't know. Top is health, the bottom is uh, mastery. Get to 30 mastery or 50 health, you're gone. This I can't make this app count down. I am shocked somebody has not written an app for this. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I will buy the Shattered. I love this guy. So that's three there. I will do one damage. And I have one left over, and I will increase my mastery by one. We replace the card. Now we draw the first card, the top card. And the top card says is brown. So all the brown cards are played. There's only two. Wow. Glad he did not get a blue card. Okay. So what we do is I will take two damage. And three, three of the uh, purchase, you have one, two, three cards are gone. And these cards are now gone, and that's the end of his turn. You might be asking, how does he gain mastery? And every time one of his cards come up, gains three mastery. It's now my turn. I draw one, two, three, four, five. So the solo version, everyone gets one card that's specific. It's set in the rules what it is. And this card is in the Relic Expansion. I do not, I don't have the rest of the Relic Expansion cards in the deck. And we draw one card. We have not played another, so we cannot unify. We will do two damage. And I can buy two, three, four, five. I will buy three. And I will buy the Undergrowth Aspirant. And I have one to do my Mastery. Ooh, that's one of the expansion cards. And we get all the purple cards. So he will do four damage and uh, two damage. Now the echoes, when he gets to 15 mastery, all the echoes will all be assumed to be in play. So it can get really nasty. So I take six damage. And these cards are discarded. Champions do go into play and do stay in play, just as in the uh, normal multiplayer game. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I will take two and increase by one. 
we will do three damage. And he draws a green. Now this is really nice because nothing happens here. There's no green cards. None of the text applies because you cannot draw. He cannot draw a card, nor can he get rid of a card because he doesn't have any cards. And the unify does not apply until he reaches 15. Okay, so we will start with I am going to play it or play order does matter. So we'll play this one. We will draw a card. We do not get the unified text, but we will get the unified text here. We do gain three health and we do five damage. We can draw two cards. Our champion goes into play, which is nice because when you have the Inspire, cards become far more valuable. One, two, three, four. I will buy Portal Monk. Uh, recruit with a card six or less. Very valuable card. Uh, does get to be annoying towards the end of the game. That leaves me one left. And I will increase my mastery by one. And we move over to Tetra's turn. Blue. Okay, first of all, we'll draw a card so we get rid of a card. We draw two cards, we get rid of two more cards. And no, I don't look at them. And we will gain five mastery. Plus, we gain three mastery for drawing a same. That's a plus eight. There we go. There we go. Plus eight. Exactly where it should be. And none of these are champion cards, so they all go to the discard pile. I have one card to draw. Okay, I will draw a card. I will draw two cards. And I guess I will draw one more card. Darn it. Okay, so we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will do one damage. We will buy this for two. We will buy this for three. Just put it here. That leaves us two left over. And I will go on ahead and increase my mastery by one to five, which I would have gotten one more. Oh well. Okay. Tetris turn. Okay, so first of all, none of the text will make a difference here. So we do 5, 10, 13 damage. And there are no champions, so nothing to go on ahead and 
deal with later. I draw five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, first of all, I will gain three uh, health. We have two to purchase with. I will buy this for three. I will increase my mastery by one and we do two damage. Oh, I still have one point left to purchase and I cannot purchase. Tetris turn. Ouch. Okay, so there's going to be one damage. Three damage. And five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, when you play, draw a card. One more card. So that's six gone right off the bat. And that's the only champion. I will draw one. And I forgot to do my damage. Last time, so he does take one more damage because of this. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm not going to banish anything. But we do gain one here, so that's seven. We do have a champion. Do draw two more. One, two. Draw one more. I do not play unify on that. I have three to purchase with, which I will take this one. Um, I want to increase my mastery. I have found that's my best way to win on this game is via mastery. And I do one point of damage. Damage does not carry over from turn to turn. There we go. We have the focus on. So I won't get any more disruptions. And yes, I did do that. I'm pretty sure I did the damage. No, I should have one more damage. And that's the end of my turn. Ouch. Okay, no champions. They gain one mastery. And we have eight damage. Except that gets damaged, so he'll do two less to me. There we go. Okay, so we are going to gain one and draw a card. We will take three to our health. We will do two damage. He's out. And so that leaves us three, four, five, six.
I'll take this for four. And increase my mastery by one. And I will need to shuffle. Place. Please don't be green. Ooh, plus three. One, two, three. Get rid of two cards. Get this one. Get rid of another card. And I think this is the real problem. I've lost a lot with running out of the deck. We get a champion. I get a so I have one, two, three to purchase with. I will take this is one of my favorite cards uh, because I can double an effect. We will do two damage. And we have two to purchase with and I will increase my mastery by one. Unless that's a one cost card, which it's not. Oh, I was afraid of this. So, first of all, gain one mastery. Four damage to me. And heal eight. Ooh, ooh, lots of cards I want to buy. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good news. First of all, we'll play this one. I gain two mastery. I will play this card, draw a card. I will reduce my health by three. I have three to purchase with. I am between these two cards. And the reason I'm between these two cards is I want both of them. I want to get to 30 as fast as I can. And I am going to take this one because of the draw two cards. I do not increase my mastery this turn. And it's their turn. Green increases by four. That's the only card. I like when that happens. Especially when there's cards I want. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to increase our mastery by one, and I am going to banish a card from my hand. I will play this card. I will draw a card. I will draw two more cards. We haven't played that one yet. Okay, we're going to need to shuffle. And we will exhaust this card because I have a total of three champions of the brown color. Ah, bummer. I was really hoping to get something here. We're going to increase by two. We will do one damage. And we will draw a card. Yes! Okay. 
Okay, so how this works is in the app, if you pull a card as you draw the card, that counts as in your hand uh, because you draw the card first. And it is, um, or in your hand, or reveal one from your hand, we reveal one from our hand, I will lose three health. I will get three health back and I will gain five damage. Five. And then we purchase. I will increase my by one. So that gives me four, five, six, seven. I got 15. I will take this four, five. And I will take this for two. And that is the end of my turn. And here we go. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Fortunately, he's at five. So none of the this applies. We will draw two cards, which is to put two into the deck. We will gain two, which will put two more into the deck. And we will and he gains two mastery. There we go. Seven mastery. Fortunately, no champions. This is the first game that he has not had a ton of champions, probably because I've been buying the champions as we go. Which is three, four, five, which is a real important thing to do. Hmm. Hmm. I will I will buy this card with this and automatically goes into play. As I said before, the inspire is really kind of important because this card's really important for Inspire because I will always hit the Inspire. They lose two. There we go. On to their Mastery, which is, uh, I find really helpful, especially in the um, app. Okay, we want to... Okay, we're going to come over here. We're going to exhaust this for two cards. Is all we have left. Oh, there's a card I want to play. We will put this over here. And I only have three to purchase, so I will use this here onto the portal monk to obtain this card and it does go right into my hand which means it goes over here I don't have 20 but it will do two damage I then have three left to purchase I am going to oh yeah we'll do up by one two more to purchase this one And that is done. We then have damage. So we're going to go over here. We're going to exhaust and gain two. We get one. No, I already did that. Yes, I already did that. Three, that's five. And that doesn't, so that's seven damage total, right?
three, uh, one point for each of the cars, three, four, five, six, seven. So here we go. Notice the cards are getting low. The exhaust doesn't uh, gain three. The there's no discard pile. The echo doesn't apply because it doesn't have enough. So that'll be five damage. And this is a champion. And we'll continue to do five points of damage every turn. I forgot to shuffle. Okay, really interesting here. So first of all, we gain two right off the bat. We only have two to purchase with. We will do five damage plus one. That gets us to 19. I will go on ahead and do one here. And I made a mistake. I'm going to finish off my turn before I correct the mistake. I have one to increase, which I did. And I will purchase this for one. That's the end of my turn. My mistake was for five. Uh, he has five damage. Which should go to champions first. Okay, this is out. And the best one to get rid of... Five damn so he'll do two no I'm sorry he's only gonna be able to get rid of one card and the best card for him to get rid of is this one okay now we go to his turn back to his turn next turn okay so we have one oh my goodness Four. One, two, three, four. Now it's at the point where I almost should not be purchasing cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good news. Okay, so first of all, we are going to draw a card. We will gain three health. We will gain three more health. We will do five damage. We will inspire to lose our enemy two. I will increase my by one and I am not going to buy a card. I am not buying a card. And I will end up doing five, nine damage. Correction, I am going to buy a card. 
I am going to buy this card, put it in my hand, return a champion to my hand, install a champion that will do another nine points of damage. Nine plus two more plus two more. 41. Okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. Plus, I forgot all the damage over here. I get to draw two cards. Two more. Four cards total. That's out. Draw another one. Draw another one. Draw another one. Okay. That's the end of my drawing. I will get rid of that card. Increase by one. I have five. Six. Increase by one at seven. Eight, nine. Okay, I have nine to purchase with, and I am not going to purchase anything. I have one card left. Fun. Oh no. One, two, three. There are three cards left. We have one more turn. <sighs> Gain 10 health. Do three damage. And I lost. Thorn Zealot gets rid of a card. Three less damage. Three damage to me. And then we refill and we only have two cards. That means I lose. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a solo of Shards of Infinity. Uh, please make sure you come back, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.